Hey guys, how you going? Well, the sun is setting. I'm here in uh, far north of New South Wales on the border of uh, Queensland um, and off to visit our hemp farm. Um, so another couple of kilometres along this little dirt track and I'll be there. I'm looking forward to it. Um, our first processing machine went down to Tasmania in um, uh, last year, sorry, and, and from that um, the hemp housing in Tasmania has actually doubled in number um, at that time and, and, um, and they're going flat chat basically with um, the increasing number of hemp buildings. So here we can see the bales of hemp which is a super low percentage of THC cannabis variety and it grows really easily in all kinds of conditions and so this is ready for processing by the Ashford Hemp Industries team into a range of different uh, products that can be used in various industries. I'm more interested in the building part of it, so we're going to focus on that in this little video. So here we have a bale of hemp that has been fluffed out and it's ready to go into the processor. And you can see all the different kinds of textures, the fibers and the woodiness. You can see it's quite thick, some of the pieces. And that will go into the hemp machine, processing machine, uh, which I can't actually show you. It's a trade secret. It'll bash it and smash it and twist it and turn it and out into these ready-to-go bags will come this hemp building material. So here is a bag of hemp building material that gets mixed in with a bag of lime, water and sand and that turns it into a crete and the silica content from this hemp bonds with the lime to form a stone of sorts. So while it's called crete, um, like as in concrete, this hemp crete is a little bit different to concrete but it is formed in situ and you can make all different kinds of shapes out of it and once those shapes are formed it starts to dry, cure, and harden, and eventually it'll actually petrify over time and continue to suck in carbon into it and get harder and harder and harder. So most structures will slowly degrade over time. A hemp structure will get harder and harder and over time. So that's the lovely hemp material, which has done its job by sequestering carbon from the atmosphere while it was growing and then it'll be mixed in with a lime and turned into hempcrete and it'll lock in that carbon into the structure for eternity. And this is just a, a byproduct of the process. It's a much finer product, which is gonna be compressed into little pellets for kitty litter and such. And then if there is any waste and it goes onto the compost pile and mixed in with truckloads of manure from the surrounding area. And that'll get turned and twisted until it's all composted down into a lovely compost that we can spread on the fields as a top layer and for the next planting season. Here we have the processed hemp that's been bagged, wrapped and stacked on pallets ready to be transported to your building site. So we have the uh, raw product that's just been tracted into the spot in front of this uh, processing unit, which has been built into a shipping container. So it's transportable. And we're gonna watch some of it get pushed through the machine and the finished product come out the other side. Uh, one of the main reasons that motivated us to do the, the processing is that we wanted to grow hemp. Um, knowing what a great plant it was and hoping that it would actually replace the old tobacco industry in the Ashford area. And, um, and of course it does grow beautifully here, but we weren't able to process it anywhere. There was a large facility uh, in Newcastle, which is about a seven hour drive from here. It's just not viable to send hemp, which is a, a really light product, um, that far to, to get it processed. So what we uh, found was lacking or what we needed to have was a processing machine that would be um, affordable and small enough that it could be um, purchased and, and 
um, be located in uh, quite a number of places rather than having a multi-million dollar machine set up um, in, in one large facility where there was a lot of transport was required for the machines, uh, for the hemp and that to be processed. Uh, we've really focused on uh, making our design more affordable and um, so that basically within a 200 kilometre area you can have um, the hemp um, being grown and delivered and um, being able to use that hemp then to build housing and that in the local area. some of these hemp bales are. We're going to talk a little bit about the important industry that's being created here. Well, it used to be a tobacco growing uh, area. My grandparents parents uh, all grew tobacco here in this area. And uh, when the tobacco industry folded, we were just looking for an industry to, we lost the industry in Ashford. We lost the coal mine power station, uh, tobacco industry, Shire amalgamated. So it became just like a retirement village. So, we wanted to bring some industry back, so we we started off just uh, got our license to grow hemp, industrial hemp, and we um, yeah just through a lot of trial and error just worked out how to how to process it into um, products that we could be used in the building industry mostly to start with, and so we um, so we built a machine for us just to, um, to to process our own hemp that we we grew on site and. And then it uh, grew into a, a fairly big demand uh, to try and supply the herd for for uh, hempery. So we so then then uh, yeah because of the drought and different reasons uh, we didn't have our water allocation and the drought uh, was here so we couldn't grow it ourselves. So the bales were sourced um, from the Australian Hemp Masonry Company uh, from out of grain for seed and just uh, purchased the stubble off them and. And uh, have them sent here for us to process for them and into a uh, herd basket and fines, and they, they're after the herd mostly for the, the hemp print. Well, it's amazing to hear all the innovation that's going on with uh, hemp and by the team here at Ashford Hemp Industries. Um, what's next? Our first processing machine went down to Tasmania in um, our last year, sorry, and then from that, um, the hemp housing in Tasmania has actually doubled in number. Um, at that time and and, um, and they're going flat chat basically with um, the increasing number of hemp buildings. One for Tasmania and uh, now uh, building one for, uh, for New Zealand so it's become an international thing as well but it's something people in the local area can grow, grow the hemp, the farmers or whatever and they can use our machine and it uh, comes with a 80 kVA generator so you don't even need mains power but you can 